Hey everyone, Riaz here with 3D Crystal and Cockpit 3D. This is another Cockpit 3D short where we're gonna aim to get you tips, tricks, and learnings in four minutes or less. So away we go. So this one here is again a training on 360. This time I'm gonna talk about projection and how we can use projection from multiple angles to get some amazing texture on a 360 file. This here is a bison provided by a client. So again, clients will perhaps give you uh, 3ds max files or obj files so you can always send it over to us for a quote on getting it as a scene file so you can do what i'm doing here uh, on cockpit 3d so normally what you would do is you would go to your settings you click on edit geometry settings you turn on x-ray x-ray lets you create points seeing everything in the file from what the camera sees to what the camera doesn't see whether it's at the back inside or in the front and here it is so here's our bison in 360. Now you'll notice that there are some unwanted artifacts over here and over here. This again is because the file was provided by the client. So the easy way to go about this is actually deciding not to use x-ray but to use projection. When you use projection, what it actually does is instead of looking through the model, it will only create points along the perimeter. And you have the option of turning on various directions. Normally for 180, we only keep it on for the front. You're going to want to make sure that your fill solid is off. If I turn it on, then what's going to happen is it's going to ignore the textures. All these shades here, it's going to ignore it. And it's going to do what we call native and just create a white point cloud. Okay. It's not that pretty. And this here is 180 anyway. But um, if I turn on all the different directions, it will be 360. But again, it's not very pretty when it's just white. So let's uh, go back here. Projection, turn off fill solid. I'm keeping my layers as 852 for the front direction. When I do the back direction, I'm going to enable it, remove my fill solid, and I'm only going to keep it at one layer. I'm going to do the same thing for the left, enable, remove fill solid. Same for the right, enable with one layer, remove fill solid. And the same for the top, enable with one layer, remove fill solid. I don't think it's necessary to turn on the bottom, so I'm going to leave it. Now, the reason that I'm doing only one layer on all other directions is, again, because we don't want the model to be interrupted. When I'm looking at this model from the front, from this angle here, I want it to be the most pronounced and the brightest. I don't want the back to interrupt or interfere as much with the front, so I'm gonna make it a little weaker with that one layer, okay? Also, on my Z layers, normally we do 0707. Because I have points being shot from different directions, there's a lot more saturation, so to avoid cracking, instead of doing 0707, I'm gonna keep my Z layers at 0.1. Depending on your laser, you might need to adjust this accordingly. So again, I just wanna reconfirm that my projection is on for everything, all right. And now I'm gonna click on go and it looks much better. See that? Isn't that gorgeous? Now, one thing I'm not happy with here is the brightness on this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the layer and I'm gonna click on the paintbrush and it is gonna open up what we call a texture wrap. Looks a little different than the texture wraps you're used to seeing because in this case it's 360. It really is representing wrapping this thing all around the model. What I'm gonna do is very similar to what I would normally do. I'm gonna convert it to grayscale I'm gonna to go to my curves here and just brighten it up. There we go, click on okay. Don't forget to merge your layers and then you can go ahead and save it. And we're done, go back to cockpit, refresh, and you see it's much brighter. Click on go and there you go. Isn't that beautiful? So that's 360 using projection on Cockpit 3D. I hope you learned a lot. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share. Thanks for watching.